the vast majority of the diversity of fungi is in the two uh, de most derived, most recently derived phyla uh, that are the septate phyla, uh, sometimes grouped together in a large superphylum called the dicaria. These are the basidiomycota and the ascomycota. So the phylum basidiomycota are sometimes referred to as the club fungi. There are more than 30,000 described species compared to a thousand zygomycetes, about a thousand chytrids, only a hundred glomeromycetes. Uh, the thing that unite all of these fungi is that they produce a, their sexual spores. Uh, the products of meiosis are on a structure called a basidium that looks kind of like a club. Uh, and the spores that are produced on that basidium are called basidia spores. So uh, pretty much everything you think of as a mushroom is in this phylum. Uh, mushrooms and toadstools, there's no real difference between uh, mushrooms and toadstools. Toadstools are just uh, typically what people think of as mushrooms that are poisonous to eat, but there's no taxonomic designation between mushrooms and toadstools. Uh, poor fungi. Uh, rusts and smuts, jelly fungi, stinkhorns, puffballs, earth stars, bowleach, chanterelles, and those are just the macro fungi. Those are just the ones that we can see without magnification. There are a lot of other basidiomycetes that are entirely uh, microscopic. And as I mentioned, the spores that are the products of meiosis are basidia spores. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of the diversity there. So here's a typical mushroom, uh, maybe not all that typical. I've never seen one that looks quite this uh, blue uh, before. It's a kind of a, a, a an idealized example growing in some moss there. You can see the sporophytes growing out of those female gametophytes. Uh, here on the upper left uh, is an example of a pore fungus also called a shelf fungus. Many of those are important wood decay organisms that uh, can grow on living and dead trees and help break them down. Uh, in the upper right, you've got an earth star. Those are very common around here. Uh, they're very similar to puffballs, which are also very common around here. Uh, in the lower left, that is a chanterelle, which is a very important type of edible mushroom uh, that uh, you can find around here. And in the lower right there uh, is an example of a what's called a bird's nest fungus, so-called because uh, they kind of look like little bird's eggs growing in a nest. But these are all examples of basidiomycetes. Uh, this is another wood decay fungus called split gill, very common around here. Uh, this is an example of a rust fungus that we see often in the springtime, uh, after a rain, you might see these weird orange uh, tentacly looking things growing on uh, eastern red cedar trees. And this is a type of rust fungus, so-called because of that color that the, uh, the spores, uh, spore masses are. Uh, and here is a, an image uh, I think that's pretty much right out of your text, showing the life cycle of your typical uh, mushroom-forming basidiomycete. But I will uh, take a few minutes to draw it for you, with you, uh, in the next video.